Good morning, everybody. Beautiful morning here in Kyoto. <clears throat> Beautiful view of this valley. In the mountains of Kyoto. And this is Kayabuki no Sato. So this is quite a distance from Kyoto city. Uh, this is Kyoto prefecture, way in the mountains, in the middle of the prefecture. About maybe one and a half hours from uh, downtown. So we're gonna go for a walk through here and uh, we're gonna look at these houses closer. This looks very similar to uh, Shirakawa Go. Shirakawa Go. Hey Scott, how's it going? Look at this view. Isn't this beautiful? Or is it just me? So a lot of you might you might know Shirakawa Go. Shirakawa Go is a famous uh, traditional town with these thatched roofs, roofed uh, houses. But this is a, a different place which basically has the same thing um, with these thatch roof houses, but there's a lot less people. So it's a, it's a pretty special place, very beautiful place. Thank you for everybody watching on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Good evening, Flaming Ripshaw, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving, hi everybody. All right, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go for a walk through here. That is amazing, yeah, that's a pretty cool view. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what season? Uh, what season are we in? We're in fall, pretty, not deep into fall, but yeah, I'd say we're, we're going to be peaking in the next, next week or so, so. All right, so these thatched roof huts, uh, thatched roof houses, it's, uh, here, I'm going to show you a map too. This is a map of the town, and you can see there's a pretty big concentration of these houses uh, in this area. I think there's about 40 or so, something like that, or maybe even more. Um, oh yeah, I guess you guys are eating. Yeah, I think you're in the middle of that, um, middle of Thanksgiving. So maybe some people are taking a break. Hopefully you can and have a look at this. Okay, yeah, so this is Kayabuki no Sato. We're, we're deep in the mountains of Kyoto here. And uh, I guess the way this is different from Shirakawa Go is this is a really residential area. People live here. They do in Shirakawa Go too, but I think this is mostly residential, mostly people living here. There are a couple of guest houses where you can stay in these houses too. Let me give you a closer look of some of the houses here. give you a closer look at this one here so you can see the, the thatch roof I believe it's sloped at about 60 60 degrees that's a big one there that's a very big house that one right there and I believe they change they have to renew them every 20 years it doesn't last very long and you can tell it's getting older when the moss grows on it that's supposedly a sign that it's getting older or maybe near the time where it has to be changed again i'll give you an idea of how thick it is too you can see how thick it is it's a really thick roof there thanks for coming in everybody i appreciate it so we're going to go through this town. My goal is to go to a, uh, a temple near here. There's a temple with an eight-headed deer carving that is a national uh, or a prefectural treasure. So we're going to go see that and walk through here and get some of these cool scenes through here. Hope everybody's enjoying Thanksgiving. This is a beautiful one too. So I heard that 
in order to repair this takes a very long time and a lot of money. I read one place that I read up to $8 million it costs to fix this roof. That one is probably very old, very green there with lots of moss on it. So it's called, the style is Gasho Zukuri. Gasho Zukuri. I think that means something like praying hands. So I guess it looks like hands put together praying, which is where the name comes from. Hope you guys can hear me. I hope you can see me. I'm not getting uh, comments. Eight million, yeah, that's what they said. I don't know if that's true. It's a really beautiful valley too. I'll give you a shot around me. Great, thank you. Hey, Chris, thanks for coming in. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's that's true, but I think they said up to eight million. Up to eight million, so. Thank you, thanks for letting me know. All right, and another thing about this is that they're very, oh, well, we can go into that one. That one looks like a, a museum right there, actually. But one of the things is that they're very flammable. And what they have is, I'm going to show you these little huts. I don't know if I can go in. <laughs> That's probably somebody's private property. But can you see that little, there's a little hut right there. Um, if you, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. That little hut right there, that shoots water out like a nozzle. And it shoots the water over all the houses. I think it kind of spins around and uh, it wets all the building because this is a uh, very flammable stuff. So they actually have festivals. I think it's twice a year they have a festival where they, um, hey, thanks, Chris, thank you. Twice a year, I think it's in May and also in, um, yeah, it is. Uh, May and also in December, December 1st, they have the water festivals where they spray all the houses. Uh, December obviously is winter very dry so um, they they shoot out all the the water over the houses to uh, to prevent fires there was actually a museum that burned down in the year 2000 the museum for this village uh, burned down uh, so it does happen it definitely does it does happen it's not uh, just for show a very good reason why they do it yeah, these are definitely residential areas. Got the, the laundry hanging out. Oh, what a great view. I got my drone too, so I'm gonna probably drone over this. The sky is just so bright. A little bit washed out. So these are ideal for uh, keeping you cool in the summer. Summers are very hot and also for keeping you warm in the winter. I guess you can, I think you can go into this one. Let's see if we can go into this one or at least have a peek. Let's see if we can have a peek inside here. three dollars to go in. Anyways, I'll take you right up to there. This is a traditional stove there, the little... Okay. Yeah, there's a little cooking area there. <laughs> okay. And you can see this too. Look at the, the rope. Look how it's bound together like that with the rope. That's amazing. I'll 
that's a huge, that's a super thick roof there. That one's old there, super green. There we go. It's hard to get that sky exposed. All right. Here's another one of these uh, water cannons. So they're scattered through the whole village. Uh, another water cannon. Yeah, they're literally water cannons uh, shooting all over the place. Dean, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. I hope you're having a good Thanksgiving. I guess uh, some people might be in the middle of uh, Thanksgiving dinner, or maybe you're finished, or taking a break. Maybe you're eating right now. I don't know. Hope you're enjoying it. That's a beautiful tree right there, that maple. Another water cannon. Here, maybe we can go down here. Oh, there's the there's the shrine we're gonna go to. Oh, there's a sign of the shrine there. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. We're in a food coma. Yeah, that too. I did say that to somebody. I know Ariel is watching in Texas. Thanks for watching. Uh, family too, all her family probably are watching. There's a little museum here, Indigo. Um, Kyoto's famous for dying, uh, Indigo. And yeah, there's a little Indigo museum here. Watching football by now, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. Got a lot of competition, you know. Yeah, I started a little bit early. I said I was going to go on at 11, but I'm going to start now. Any shop behind me? That's a beautiful area. Super nice. Uh, they were probably owned by the town. Yeah, I would say. Uh, they're scattered everywhere, but they are on private land. There's one right there. They do the same thing in Shirakawa Go. Um, but this is a little bit smaller. I think it's a little bit smaller than Chicago. Chicago is much bigger. Ariel, hey, thanks for coming in. I'll take you down here. Hello, Mary. Thank you for coming in. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello, Texas. Yeah, so I was saying that these are, um, these are changed every 20 years. There's actually a new one over there. This one looks old. Well, relatively old. Yeah, that's a nice one right there. Okay, we're gonna go to the temple. Yeah, this is really, there's a lot of uh, wildlife here too. Uh, bears, uh, I guess deer. Okay, we're gonna go. The shrine is, I guess this way. Okay, Miyama Minzoka Shiri. They do have a little uh, arrows telling you where to go. Yeah, there are bears in the forest. Uh, that's what I heard. Uh, if you want to go, if there's a that's a nice shot right there. There's a forest. I got. We're in the middle of a national park, actually. This is a this is national park area. Uh, this town is right in the national park. You would like it here? I think it would be really. It, a lot of people come here to get away from the city. Um, you can stay overnight at a couple of places. There's not so many places. A lot of these are just houses, so there's not that many places to stay. But there are, um, so you can, you know, have a little cottage kind of get away from the city, so. Okay, let's go this way. Oh wait, where's the shrine? Oh yeah, so we're going to this shrine here. Uh, Chi Hachiman Shrine. That's the eight-headed deer. And it uh, looks like there's a oh, pizza. 
bears in the area. Yeah, right. Japanese bears are not like grizzlies, though. You know, grizzlies are like, you know, uh, you know, 10 times bigger than you. <laughs> they're, they're huge. But the ones here, they're kind of like, they're almost kind of like a big human. Kind of husky. Look at this beautiful, beautiful husky dog here. He's cute. Hello. Cute dog. That's the cafe there. It's closed though. I think we're, oh, that's a pizza. That's a, a restaurant there. But uh, maybe it's not open on the, it's only weekends. I guess it's only open on the weekends. Is this the shrine? Oh yeah, it is. I think I have to go down. The shrine is right there. Okay, I believe we have to go down again. Oh, that's a nice shot there. Yeah, there's a river right there. Uh, and I'm probably going to fly my drone after this too. And you can uh, get some good shots of this valley. We're in a valley, basically. Deborah, hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah, this is great. I hope the picture looks good for you. Looks good for me. It's a beautiful spot. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is the shrine here. So we're gonna go up there and look at this carving. There's a, I believe it's like 600 years old, this shrine. And there's some important cultural property. Uh, carving of an eight-headed deer. And supposedly beautiful views of the, of the, uh, the city too. Picture perfect. Great. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. The, just a little bit bright maybe. Uh, oh, this is cool. This is like a, a wooded area here. Oh yeah, this is nice. I'll give you a shot of this. Here's the valley. That's really nice. If anybody's watching on Twitter, I can't read your comments. Um, if you want me to read your comments, please come to YouTube. Uh, Dave and Osaka on YouTube. Or Facebook or Twitch. And if you don't care, then stay at Twitter. Enjoy the picture there. Yeah, I'm getting my exercise. <laughs> you can see the village a little bit from here. Not that much. Okay, let's go to the temple. I want to see this carving. Let's do the proper entrance here through the gate. I'm doing okay. Hey. Resolve Roy, thanks for coming in. I don't know if you're American, but happy Thanksgiving if you are. Shinto shrine, very simple. Oh yeah, there's nice carvings. Some good ham, all right. <laughs> good stuff. It's famous for these carvings. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here, guys, so you can see the carvings. The eight-headed deer is what I wanna see. Where's the eight-headed deer? Hmm. All right, anyways, let me show you these carvings. There you go. These are the carvings. So this is an important cultural property here uh, in Kyoto Prefecture. I'm trying to look for the eight-headed deer. That one is a that one. Oh, jeez, 
My gimbal is going crazy here. That one there they pointed out. And that looks like a tiger there. That one's beautiful there. So there was some gentleman who killed a, a, a eight-headed deer. Oh yeah, here's here's some more. I'll show you some of these. It looks like oh Tatsuya. These are pretty detailed too. see if they have that eight-headed deer oh that's a beautiful one there where's that there's a really long one here uh, this one right here there's two yeah they are um, let me see if I can find this long oh yeah this carving here this is uh looks like a koi that it was this this really long one here Uh, a carp going over a stream that was one of the, the famous ones I can't go up there though actually maybe I can hey guys <laughs> I uh, zoomed panned a little too quickly there and I think the other one is back here uh, that one's covered by that shelf I wonder why they put that shelf there though oh well Anyways, that's it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna take you through the village again. And then I'm gonna go across the bridge. And I'm gonna fly my drone from that side on the other side, so. Get some pretty good shots there for sure. Hope it's not too windy. Oh, that's nice right there. Let me zoom out. There you go. All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, for those of you just coming in, this is. Kayabuki no Sato. This is Miyama. This is in Kyoto. Uh, it's famous for these thatch roofed, roofed houses here. Uh, probably about 200 years old are the oldest ones. 220, I believe, is the oldest one. Uh, I believe that one was like 600 years old. I don't know if the, stru the structures are not 600, but that was established something like 600 years ago from what I uh, read. Not too bad, okay, good, good. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a good, I'm trying to think what to say. If you, if you don't want to go to Shirakawa Go, where there are just, I mean, Shirakawa Go is one of the, I don't know, one of the most visited places. There's thousands and thousands of people that go there. Uh, this is a great alternative. Really good alternative. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. Perfect alternative to uh, Shirakawa Go. We came from up there. Uh, don't feel like climbing that slope, a little bit too steep for me. Yes, uh, that's another difference is uh, Shirakawa Go is uh, not as many people live there 
Whereas here, this is mostly a residential area. Most of the people that uh, own these houses, they live here. Uh, not many of these places are places to stay or uh, museums. It's mostly for, for living. They live here. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I can imagine that in the sun, in the winter time though, this is uh, covered in snow. Uh, I don't know if it's as bad as Shirakawago, but it's very, very snowy here. Pretty remote place from my house. It took me, I left my house at 7.15 and I got here at 10 a.m. So it took me almost three hours to get here from downtown Osaka. All right, we're gonna go through here. But they got Wi-Fi, downtown Wi-Fi. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. Oh, oh, there's a pagoda here, where's that? There's a nice shot there of the, uh, the roofs and the, <clears throat> the scenery around here. Okay, I don't know where's this pagoda. It says Hokyo Into Pagoda. Where's the pagoda? I didn't see a pagoda. Interesting. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go this way. I'm gonna show you one of the uh, the newer houses. What a new new roof looks like. You're basically looking into people's houses if you look at these, uh, look inside their windows. They have Wi Fi, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's a beautiful house right here. Beautiful garden. That tree is really nice, too. Hey Richard, uh, I'm not staying anywhere. I'm gonna go back home. No, there's no geisha here, unfortunately. I'm going home uh, in a few hours. I'm just gonna spend a few hours here. I'll spend the day here. I hope that wind's not too bad. These trees are beautiful right here. This uh, this new one down here. There's a new a new house. Looks like it just finished uh, making this roof. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a perfect day trip. I was gonna go to Shirakawa Go in Gifu, but that is a it's a, a, a long trip. <laughs> it's about, f let me see, four hours or, f or so, uh, quite a distance, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one here. These are the water cannons I showed you for anybody just coming in. So these are very flammable roofs. These are the water cannons. Uh, these open up and then they shoot out the water out the top and there's, they have these all throughout the whole town. Paula, good good morning. Happy Thanksgiving, or good evening, actually, to you. Here's a new one here. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. This is a new roof here. Konnichiwa. きれい。新しいのですか。新しい。11月。11月。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今年。今
ゃうなかなかね今の時はお金もあるからそうだけどいいな<笑>大変もうそれでも長いことかかってるの,の人が20年ぐらいあ20年その場所によってねああ場所によって北側なんか今はだらだらだらないわねもうそのようなね北側は低くなるやつもあるし、うんうん、もうあの青いこの真ん中のところ、はい、青い苔が生えてるやろ、はいはいはいはい、あれがもういっぱいになるねはいそうそうそう誰も住んでます。ああ、ごめんなさい。ああ、大変です。ああ、そうですね。もう、振り切った、塗ったんですよ。塗るだけでも結構。百万ほどかかる。だから、塗るのに。だから、重りができません。うんうんうん。冬はどうですか。冬、うん、あの、雪が積もっています。雪は、あの、い、の、最近はね、あんまりないけど、今年はなんや、ふるふるふる。言うて、まあ、ほんで、十五センチ。十五センチ。ここ、開けにはきはんけどね。白川郷の方が。高いですね。ああ、そこの方が。<笑>けど、もう、年によって、わからへんけどね。最近はあんまり降ったことはないけど、ね。そう、よかったです。<笑>いや、もう、今年はふるふる言うてるから。わかる。どんなもんわからへんしね。もうして高齢化で、ここにおっても仕事がないやん。若い人はもう限られてるやん。若い人いません。今そうね。おじらも息子は神の神な。嫁さんとは。大変です。ああそうそう。いらんもんが来るもんや。どちらからああ、大阪から来ました。はい、かカナダカナダ人けど、大阪に住んでいます。はい。はい。今日は初めて。綺麗ですね。そうです。
やんね、今回はね。昔はね、うん、あの、かやも、自分らで書いて、この屋根の下にみんな直して。<笑>そして、あの、隣近所が屋根で悩んでたら、屋根で行ってったりしたり、まあ、ほんで、当たりは、まあ、朝は。はい、ありがとうございました。
Yeah, I mean, can you imagine living out here um, by yourself? Her her daughter, and she said her daughter and her uh, husband, uh, they moved away. There's no young people here. That was another thing she said. There's no young people here anymore. Everyone moves away. It is, yeah. It's, uh, I said it keeps you cool in the summer and it keeps you warm in the winter. So. All right. Yeah, I can't imagine it is, yeah. All right, let's go up here. What's up here? But we'll go check it out. I usually don't climb roads uh, steeper than 15 degrees, it's in my contract but I'm making an exception for you guys. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, it's particularly bad here in Japan. Oh, this is a temple here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is a temple. It's a great shot there. Yeah, well, just a little bonus for everybody, you know, me climbing a uh, steeper hill. <laughs> Water cannons. I'm a, I'm in a beautiful village here. This is in Kyoto. With these uh, thatched roofs. These families should do a weekly get together. Yeah, I think they, they support each other for sure. They definitely support each other. Okay. Okay, enjoy. Thanks for coming in, uh, Flaming Rickshaw, thanks. <clears throat> All right, I think there's a good vantage point here. This gentleman's taking a picture. Yeah, it's still, I think it's still early here. It's not, uh, I don't think it's even peaking yet. garden here okay. I think that's how they make the the huts there like that see how they gather the uh, the straw I'm gonna do a close-up of that that's how they gather it uh, in bunches like that and then they strap it to the roof and they they saw it off like that. Hey, Di. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> Ariel. I think you're, you're in Facebook with my mother. So you guys uh, can see each other. This is a cafe here. This looks really nice. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, it's open now. This is, oh no, this is a different cafe. This is a cafe here. I might have a little break here. There's a cafe there. And there's a, 
I think that's just a, oh, that's a guest house, I think, over there. Okay, great. Uh, so the early morning is very dark here because the sun, uh, you know, the mountains kind of shelter everything. So it's kind of cool in the morning. And it takes a while for the sun to get over the mountains and light everything up, you know. Thanks for coming in, Dai. So we're, for anybody coming in, this is uh, this is called Miyama, Miyama Kayabuki no Sato. This is deep in the mountains of Kyoto, uh, from downtown Kyoto. Probably takes you about 90 minutes by uh, bus or train, and it's famous for these uh, famous for these thatch roof houses here. They're from, I believe, the oldest ones are about 220 years old, uh, and the newest. They don't last long, these roofs. These are the roofs themselves are not 200 years old, but the houses are. The roofs have to be replaced every 20 years or so. This one here is older. Uh, once they get all the moss on them, then uh, it means it's, it's getting to that time where they have to change it. So, uh, and a very costly, very costly thing to do not cheap i read somewhere up to eight million dollars i don't know how how uh accurate that is but this is really beautiful the grass here too the fall grass suzuki that's why they go to japan they have hold on to their culture yes yeah they, they do yeah some places this is a suzuki here suzuki is the uh something you see in the fall i don't even know pampas grass yeah I believe it translates to pampas grass. Uh, that's another thing that people uh, enjoy in the fall. Go look at fields of pampas grass and take photos of it. It's, it's actually pretty beautiful. A lot of things I never would have appreciated back home when I come here, uh, people bring to my attention. I kind of learned to appreciate it too. So, Yeah, I guess... <clears throat> Is there anywhere like that Oz, in Oz, like with the natives, the Aboriginal people uh, die? I guess that's kind of true with that. I hope this wind is not too bad. It's a little bit blown kind of strong. That tree right there is beautiful. That red maple. That's a great shot. Yes, it's fall. It's fall. It's, we're pretty deep into fall. I think we got uh, a couple more weeks. Uh, we can enjoy the leaves. So, All right, I'm going to take you down here and get some more wider views of the... Uh, I'm not too sure. Probably, I know we are giving back a lot of our land now to traditional worship. A lot of national parks. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. We have thatch roofs in the UK. They're not cheap to replace, but not as expensive. That's what they said, Richard. Up to up to eight million. Um, I love this house. I know I showed it a couple of times, but it's just uh, that's a beautiful, uh, beautiful shot there. thatched roofs. I know they have them in even the Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands also has the thatched roofs. And Iceland too, I believe. Okay, let me take you over here. Get you some wider views of the... Uh, oh, that wind is probably strong. Maybe I'll put my, my uh, microphone in. One moment. Let me put my mic in. That'll get rid of the. Uh... Hey Nick, how's it going? Thanks for coming in. I'm gonna give you a shot of where we are in a moment. Uh, sorry, my gimbal's going crazy. 
Uh, I'm going to give you a shot behind me. I'm going to bring... I'm going to let the drone up in a, in a bit, Nick. I'm going to go to a Riverside. And I'm going to launch the drone. Yeah, so let me show you where we are. Uh, this is where I started. I hope the wind is a little bit better now. It should be. So yeah, so this is where we are here. Uh, Kayabuki no Sato. That's a pretty nice shot there. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. It is a beautiful day. Wind noise is gone. Good. Okay, good. I'm going to stand over here and show you a better angle of it. Uh, you can go to this bridge up here and there's a beautiful view of the of the village. Just one moment. Across this road here. No, it's not. It's uh, The morning was a low of 2 degrees. And then it goes up to 18, I think. So it's going to be 18 high. So, not too bad. I'm going to give you some shots of uh, the river behind me too. A really nice river. Although, maybe nice to me. Because I live in the middle of the concrete jungle. And you guys uh, are probably in a nicer area than me. <clears throat> All right. So this is a shot that everybody takes of this place up here. This vantage point. Oh yeah, this is prime droning area right here. So, yeah, there's a great shot of the, the whole town. That's beautiful, I think. Let me pin this mic on. Yeah. <laughs> it's far, yeah. Yeah, so there's the... This is the village right there. You get the whole vantage point right there. Kayabuki no Sato kind of nestles at the bottom of that hill. Our low is two of the high bay. Yeah, so we're a little bit higher. Beautiful spot, yeah. And uh, I'll give you a shot behind me. This is the, ri I forget what the name of this river is. That's great too. Probably going to launch from right there and uh, see what this valley looks like. Good fishing in this river. You can fish sweet fish. It's not sweet fish season now, but uh, I believe in, when is it? The summer. Uh, late, late spring, summer. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to do some other spots this weekend too, so... I'll probably uh, send some notifications out. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Twitch. I'm on uh, YouTube and I'm on Twitter, I think. I can't, I can't see Twitter through Prism Live. Uh, they haven't connected it yet, but I think they're going to soon. And I'm going to drone on YouTube, I think. Uh, although if I connect on Restream, I could... I could drone to all of them great thank you hello everybody in uh, texas happy thanksgiving yeah if i use the if i use restream then uh, i can go to every place but sorry i had a phone call down Sorry, I had a phone call. I had to block him. But Nick, do you use uh, Restream? Oh, we can go. Here's the pompous grass. Let's go in here. I heard there's some nice stuff on this side, too. 
you should have answered. <laughs> hey, I even uh, I even turn down the ladies when I'm broadcasting. That's how serious I am. All right. Oh, there's a path. Oh, cool. I wonder where this is gonna take us. This is nice. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see where this goes. I have no idea where this goes. Hope the wind's not too strong. It's super, oh, that's nice right there. That's a nice shot. The pompous grass. All right, well, I'm, I'm probably gonna go, yeah, I don't know where. I'm not sure where I'm gonna broadcast, but I'm gonna definitely fly it uh, somewhere. Right, let's see what we got here. I'm not sure if there's anything scenic down here, but use, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Prism. Uh, but I guess if you use Restream in Prism, then you can multi-stream to all of them, right? Oh, there's a fence here. I can't go in here. Turn down the light. <laughs> I forget there's people watching. <laughs> I need to be more careful. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Swiss, yeah. Oh, that's great. This is super nice. I can't go here, though. Uh, yeah, there's a fence here. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is less problems, yeah. All right, I don't know what's back here. Doesn't look like much. Thank you, Amy. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I got a lot. I got a lot of new uh, subscribers because of the uh, the bonsai exhibit, but. I don't think they really watch. I think they just want to see bonsai content. Look at that, that's amazing. 2017, okay, cool. I'm gonna follow you. Uh, Richard, thanks for coming in, I appreciate it. Uh, I know it's late where you are, so thanks. Maybe a little bit windy for the mini. A little bit windy for the drone, maybe, so. mini one but I'll try might get swept away a bear will come out yeah I know that's what they said there is bears here koko ni kuma arimasu Never too windy for the mini? Really? Okay, I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna go down on uh, the riverbed there and uh, try and launch. I'm not gonna fly over the houses though. I'm gonna fly this way and just look towards them. So. Do I have a bell? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have my bear bell on. I did not expect to be in an area with uh, bears but yeah that would help <clears throat> yeah hello if anybody's watching um, I hope you enjoyed the bonsai show 
it was pretty amazing good to see it back Dave I hate to go but I have to put of course thank you Mary MJ welcome thanks for coming in we're here in a beautiful spot in uh, in Kyoto in the mountains we're about this is three hours from downtown Osaka and uh, maybe 90 minutes from uh, downtown Kyoto so Miyama Kayabuki no Sato beautiful spot so I'm gonna I'll explain to MJ and then maybe I'll uh, close down the so this is the village I came to see. Yeah, I know, I come to Kyoto too much. I might as well move here, but I was talking to a friend actually who does live in Kyoto and he he hates it when tourists are here, when the season is uh, like before the pandemic, just an awful place to live. So um, thank you for hosting me, everybody. I think there's a couple of people hosting. Thank you so much, uh, Swiss. Uh, Swiss R, Dean, thank you for hosting. So this is the Miyama. This is the village here that I came to see. Uh, full of thatched roof, roof houses. Uh, I'll do a close-up so you can see it. You can see there those thatched roofs there. Uh, I believe there's about 40 here. 40 of them. Some of them ranging from 50 to 200 years old. The buildings are that age, the roofs are not. The roofs have to be replaced every uh, 20 years, at, uh, I guess, up around. And um, ideal for heating and for keeping cool. Very expensive to maintain though, and very difficult to uh, make. This is actually Nantan City. Uh, this this city, this little town, Miyama, actually merged with several other small towns and uh, became Nantan City. So we're we're pretty deep. We're right in the middle of the prefecture. If you're looking at Kyoto Prefecture, we're we're probably smack dab in the middle of it. Um, so beautiful spot, yeah. A lot of people. And I think a lot of people don't have uh, images of Japan as a, a lot of rural areas or what, what the rural areas are like. And uh, it seems like a lot of people are surprised how, how beautiful it is. Uh, even in Kyoto or in Osaka, you know, you think of the cities first, but they do have some really pretty urban areas uh, or rural areas like this. So anyone to know how to make it that... Well, we just saw, we just talk, spoke to an older lady here uh, who lives here, MJ, and she was saying this, exactly that, how very expensive to maintain, uh, how, you know, a lot of people are dying, um, they're on pensions, they're not working, the younger people are not living here anymore, children moving away, only coming here to visit their parents. So, yeah, that's, that's exactly what's happening. But um, so it's becoming, well, I, I think it's, it's, it already is a very popular tourist spot and they depend on that. But there's really not much here. Very quiet place. Uh, compared to Shirakawa Go, which has a much bigger industry, millions and millions of people go there every year. They are, yeah, they are. That's, uh, that's true. Uh, this place only gets a trickle of people compared to uh, Shirakawa. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the shadows? The shadow of the clouds on the mountain and the sunshine. and That's perfect. Blue skies.
Love that. Oh, I'm going to do the drone after this. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, maybe use one battery to sharpen up my skills a little bit. And then the second or third battery, I'll probably stream it so people can see it. So, all right. Okay. I've been going one hour, so I usually go for an hour. Um, so I'm going to call it a broadcast. If you want to see the walk through the city or through the town, please check out the replay. Um, no, I didn't. No, I'm going to. I'm going to. So thanks, everybody who stuck around. Uh, I hope everybody have, is having a great Thanksgiving. Probably finished eating or going to eat or maybe doing it another day. If not, no worries. <laughs> I hope this was a, a nice time to get together with some people on here live. So thank you. Uh, thanks, Deborah. Thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks a lot, Nick. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do the drone scope after this, maybe in the next hour. So if you see the notification for the for that and you want to come in and check it out, I won't be able to read comments, but um, you'll get some pretty views, I think so. Yes, next month, Tatsuya, I get to they're going to do it next month. So, all right, everybody, take care. Bye for now.